Before God led me to charitable work, I spent 33 years in the film and television business. My job was to make TV commercials, international and national TV commercials. It was when I adopted my children that I had decided to break into doing some documentary work. I had decided to fund myself a documentary about the orphanage where my children came from. I had walked into the orphanage and about 15 or 20 children ran up, they wrapped their arms around my leg, they looked up at me and they said, Papa, will, will you be my Papa? It was an incredibly emotional experience for me. And when I looked down at their sad eyes, I, I, honestly, I didn't know how to answer them. How can you tell a child who's wrapping their arms around your leg that, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't be your papa. And it, it was that image that motivated me to bring awareness of children who were in the orphanage. I was introduced to a gentleman in the United Kingdom who was operating a charity there. And it, it was an interesting charity that it was a Christian charity and they helped Jews go to Israel through a process known as Aliyah. And I was asked by the charity whether I would be interested in creating programs for them. I flew over to the UK to meet the gentleman who ran the organization. And his name was Phil Hunter. It was apparent that we didn't have much in common. We came from very different backgrounds but he spoke to me about Judaism in more depth than I had ever even heard um, than from my own family. As time went on, Phil and I began to become very close. He really was a father figure in my life, and Phil, as a Christian man, drew me into my religion like I had never been drawn in before. And I think that was the one thing that really, really surprised me a lot. How could a Christian man teach a Jew about Judaism the way that Phil taught me about Judaism. When I first began making the films with Phil in Ukraine, I saw a side of Judaism that I never knew existed before. Walking in to these people's homes, elderly Jews, Jewish families, seeing Jewish children suffering like that, the smells of people wearing dirty clothes for weeks, for months, the smells of rotting food, what little food they had, was something I had never experienced before. After I went home from that trip, I was really disturbed. I thought about it all the time. There was something that was pulling me back to that environment. And I didn't understand what it was because I really didn't like being in that environment. And it was that feeling that led me to work with Phil more in the future. Phil and I were working on our last film together. It was our seventh film, and we decided to take a walk in the streets of Jerusalem. I said, Phil, you, you look really tired. You really need to rest. You really need to take it easy. And, and he put his hand on top of my hand, and he said, Don, I promise you, I'm gonna take it easy and I'm gonna take a, a nice vacation with my family. I should have heard from Phil after his vacation was over. It was probably after two weeks that I had tried calling again that Phil's daughter answered the phone and she says, Don, you're not gonna believe it, but dad collapsed on vacation in Cyprus and he almost passed away. She told me that he was diagnosed with acute leukemia and he only had a few months to live. I was in shock. Uh, this was the man who really moved my life. I was on a job in California shooting a film two weeks later when I got the phone call that Phil had passed away. And his wife, Norma, told me, Don, Phil has asked if you would speak at the funeral. Phil asked me to speak. Phil planned out his entire funeral before he passed away. That's the strength that this man had.
It was about a month or two later that I was contacted by the family. And they asked me a very odd question. They asked me if I would consider taking over the charity. And my first thought was, how can a Jew run a Christian charity? Could I make Phil proud? Could I take what he spent his life building and not only continue it, but to build it up to where he dreamt about it being? After about four weeks of praying on the decision, I had decided to do it. The more I thought about it, as a Jew, I was able to open up the doors to many Jewish organizations where maybe a Christian would not be able to do that. I also thought, what a wonderful opportunity it would be for Jews and Christians to start healing all the damage that's been done over thousands of years. What an opportunity it would be to, to begin to bring Jews and Christians closer together. After I stepped into the role of leading the charity, I began to think about all the events that took place. And I started to think, wow, what a coincidence that I met Phil. And all of a sudden, it became clear that there were no coincidences. This was God's will. This was God who put me through a lifetime of training from living with Holocaust survivors through adopting children that were severely abused and neglected, to bringing me together with Phil, who educated me, educated me about Judaism, educated me about Christianity. This was God's way of teaching me and preparing me to take over the charity. It was such a beautiful feeling that there was a reason why I was put through all these traumatic events in my life. It was God who led me on this path. It was God calling upon me to step into the role of the leader of the charity.